Hey folks, in this video, I wanted to talk to you about my health. Now, it's not something that I do a lot on the channel, but those of you who've been watching for a while might remember seven or eight years ago, I had neurosurgery and I brought you guys along for the whole process. And essentially, I've been getting more and more comments about this and I thought the best way to address it is to just address it publicly to everyone. So look, my weight fluctuates a lot. It always has, especially over the past kind of 10, 15 years. You know, it's been fairly typical for me to go up or down a few kilograms, but I would say from 2015 to 2021, that trend was definitely headed upwards. And look, as I have a YouTube channel with videos going back like 12 years or more, I get comments on all different videos on any given day. I get comments of, wow, you've lost weight. Wow, you've gained weight. You look so fat. You look terrible. You're looking great. You know, so it kind of all comes out in the wash and I honestly, it doesn't affect me anymore. But I've had so many comments lately and people worrying, am I sick or is this something that I'm intending to do? And I'm assuming that that's all in good faith and people are actually genuinely concerned. So I thought it's right to do this here. Okay, so top line, I've lost about 35 kilos so far. Um, I'm not sick. It's something that I've actively been working towards and something that I've been trying to do for my long-term health. Um, let's cut to it. Essentially, today is the two-year anniversary of me quitting drinking alcohol. Now, don't worry, this isn't going to become evangelical. I'm not going to become preachy on the channel. I don't expect I'll ever even mention this again. But for me, it's been absolutely the right decision. I feel so much better and so much has changed in the last two years about how I view myself and how I'm interacting with the world and the things that I know I'm capable of. It's been really fantastic for me. So look, whilst I am always busy and I do have fairly stressful lifestyle in a way, that's not the reason that I was drinking too much. Honestly, I have been drinking too much for over 20 years. I still don't love the word, but I guess I've been an alcoholic for over 20 years because I would drink or even drink to excess pretty much every single day for the past 20 years, knowing that it wasn't good for me, knowing that I needed to stop, knowing that you know, being hangover the next day was such a pain to my schedule, but still I continued. Now, for those of you who are interested, no sponsor, no affiliation, no anything, the way that I finally quit was I read this book. It's called Quit Drinking Without Willpower by Alan Carr. I had heard different people talk about this, but I actually ended up reading it after I saw Nikki Glasser, the comedian, talk about it on a podcast of all things. And I ordered it from Amazon, the slow option, so that I could keep drinking for a month before I read it. And it sounds too good to be true, but essentially I read it in three days and then I haven't had a single drink since and I haven't even felt any desire to drink since. So can't recommend it highly enough. If you yourself are struggling with drinking, feel free to send me a message, but also this book is fantastic. I'll pop a link below. So since quitting, I sleep better. I'm generally more focused. I am more active. I'm far less moody, my mood is much more stable, and I'm generally becoming more and more active. In the first year since quitting drinking, I lost about 15 kilograms, making no other changes other than quitting drinking, and then maybe the snacking that was tied to that also changed. Then after that year, I was getting more active, I wasn't lethargic, I wasn't hungover in the mornings, and I started to be kind of more active, but it was just taking walks and stuff, nothing too extreme. Um, and I probably lost another eight to 10 kilos in the next six or eight months. And then after that, seeing all of this progress that I hadn't really done much for, I started going to the gym, I'm seeing a trainer, and I've cut out sugar, that's pretty much the only change I've made to my diet and lost about another eight to 10 kilos. So in total, about 35 kilos in overall weight loss, but the strength is improving and I realize I kind of tend to lose my weight first from my shoulders to my head, so I may look quite skinny. There's still plenty of me to go around. Now on the point of fitter and stronger and all of that, I'm not doing this for a summer bikini body or something like that. 
Are you looking to just lose weight, or do you want to have increased strength and flexibility as well? I want to look good naked. But running tours, traveling the world, lugging equipment, it is physically demanding. And for the past year or two, I've been thinking, you know, the men in my family are all big. One day I'm gonna be 80 and probably still quite heavy. I should really be as strong as possible whilst I'm still able to gain muscle mass. I'm in my muscle mass. I'm in my early 40s at the moment, so that one, I can continue this work and lifestyle as long as possible, but two, in my old age, I'm able to be fit and independent and have a really good quality of life. If my strength is kind of draining away in my 30s and I never get on top of it, by the time I'm 60 or 70, trying to lug around this big frame could become a big issue. I mean, even now, running my tours to different parts of the world can be physically demanding. They're long days, often to remote locations, like my upcoming trip to Kyrgyzstan in August this year. Quick shout out to my trainer, Daniel, who actually is a photographer as well. So he has an idea of the kind of things that we go through and it's been going great. I can see my strength is really going up at the same time that my weight is going down. So I guess the fat loss is probably over 35 kilos because I've definitely gained muscle mass as well. 1001, uh, 1002, Ooh, deep burn. Uh, Mr. Burgundy, 1003. Helen said that you needed to see me. Oh, Miss Corningstone. I wasn't expecting company. Who needs kettlebells when you've got 200 and 400s? Yeah. I've got to say, as a busy person, I also really love that I've regained so much time that I was wasting on drinking. I was always so busy and thought I didn't even have time to go to the gym, but now that I look back and see the amount of time I was wasting at nights, drinking and then not being able to be productive, or sleeping more, or being unproductive and hungover and grumpy in the mornings, I reckon I've probably regained 15 to 20 hours a week of usable time. That works out to like 43 days of being awake and active and productive every year that I can put into work or fitness or family or play. It's amazing and all of these excuses I had uh, out the window on YouTube. So suffice to say, overall, it's been a huge win for me personally. I'm feeling so much better. Thank you for your messages and support. Um, I'm not sick. I don't have some wasting disease. It's a uh, active, personal choice of what I'm going through right now. If you're personally struggling with drinking or with your weight, that kind of thing, feel free to shoot me a personal message here or on Instagram, something like that. I'm happy to chat. I have to say though, there is no secret. It's the formula that everyone knows. If you take in less calories than you burn, you're going to lose weight. It's unfortunately that simple and it's just a matter of stopping making excuses and doing something about it. And I'm so glad that I have. So thanks again. Let me know any thoughts that you have. And I would have one little request though, whether you're young or old, a man or a woman, it's generally not great to be reading comments about yourself all the time, even if they're meant to be positive. So after this video, I'd kind of appreciate it if you really have a concern, send me a private message, but seeing these throwaway comments of you're looking terrible, you're looking thin, you're looking this, you're looking whatever, you're looking fat, it's not lovely to read it day in and day out. So for me and anyone else you might follow online, maybe just keep those comments to yourself, even though I'm sure they're coming from a good place. Thanks again for all of your support and encouragement over the years. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope you are subscribed to the channel because we have lots more great stuff coming. You can check out the Sabari course. The link for that is in the description below.